Shady Glen Farms. Walla. Stanton. Whatever your take on the whole Star Citizen and Alpha testing debate, I hope you'd agree this game can be incredibly detailed at times. And this video continues in the same spirit as other location spotlight videos on this channel in seeking to celebrate that beauty, whilst hopefully providing you with some interesting locations that you might like to go out and explore. I'm Farrister, and my channel is all about sharing videos like this, so if you're interested in following for this kind of Star Citizen content, you might consider subscribing to the channel. You'll find the Shady Glen Farms on the moon of Walla, near Arkorp in the Stanton system. There's no direct quantum travel point, so the easiest way to get there is to travel to OM3 over Walla, point yourself to OM1, and then look down slightly towards the moon. You'll see a feature white scar, and the farm is just to the right of that. So, flying in from OM3 looks something like what you'd see on screen. It's a really interesting biome, clearly able to grow organics with the support of mini greenhouses. That could be due to the fairly healthy atmospheric composition of nitrogen, oxygen and water. Don't be fooled though, this is not a habitable place and is varying degrees of freezing cold. In the immediate vicinity, you're able to see interesting green crystals and rock formations. As an independently operated farmstead, there isn't much information available about this place. In fact, there isn't even anyone there walking around. Interestingly, there seems to be an actual place outside of game called Shady Glen Farms in Bradford, Ohio in the United States. In terms of facilities, as well as the fantastic decorative touches of the hydroponic farms and solar arrays, this installation houses a single building only. Inside, there's a trade console, and somewhat appropriately for a place with Shady in the name, it sells goods that are often a little less than legal. There are some decorative side rooms, one with laboratory style botanical goodies, and another with a simple desk and bunk. And finally, there's a room for Kovalex boxes, if you're lucky enough to be assigned a mission to come visit this place. Most passers-by will be interested in visiting either for purchasing some of the illicit offerings, or purely for exploration purposes, to visit this place and see the interesting crystals nearby. They'll be drawn to see something new in this fantastic game, and hopefully that same curiosity will draw you to future videos on this channel, for example the spotlight on the Calhoun Pass shelter. If you're enjoying, please press that like button and consider subscribing so you can know every time a new video goes live. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Walla? 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 Let's go with Walla.